legendary reach prior to doing anything in this game. So that's just letting you know, whatever it takes for me to get legendary reach, I'm going to get legendary reach and do the video, the power of legendary reach. But hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good morning, I did 2K Lab, man. Check this out, man. So it all started. Last week, look, man, I know, I, I know, I know I've been, I'm, I'm missing out, man. I ain't doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not dropping videos like I'm supposed to. We're supposed to be bringing the 2K heat every day of the week, man. But guess what? I just had a light bulb moment. Bow. If we're going to bring the 2K heat every day of the week, I'm going to need y'all to support that, man. So get down there and hit the like button, man. Comment your thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice. Hey, if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all, man. Check this out, man. Listen, man, I need two for the stage today or park or whatever. Last day, the other day we had Big Mac running point guard. Uh, like, come on, man. Then we had bands too. Hey, let me ask y'all this too, man. Why is it when you run into somebody that's clearly cheating on this game? 2K is the only community that where we clearly cheat and proudly cheat. But then when you ask somebody, you tell somebody, bro, like we beat a dude yesterday three out of four times. A lot of y'all saw it on the stream, beat him three, three or four times. He got mad when he got his guard with a 98 three ball and he was strapped up. And he just like, he, he like, he like, he like did like Raymond. I'm going back to the car and get my other joint. And then come out here and shoot everything. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm dropping, I'm jumping, hitting every shot. Bro, he's like 21%, 21%, 21%. And he's like, that ain't even that much, bro. We ain't talking about the 21%. Then he had the Devin Booker floaters that go from the three point line where you get two of those green, you get three of those greens. And then now you can shoot from half court because you in heat taking stuff. Right, come on, man. People, this is the community, man, that we're in, man. Hopefully they get that taken care of next year because there's no way that we should have people. Like, like, shoot, then he starts shooting from half court. It's like, come on, man. It, like, this is how people know you're cheating. It's not about you taking the shot and the shot saying that it's open. It's the fact that if you're a good player and you're good enough to hit those type of shots, you're good enough to recognize when you're open or when you're not open. And so you, you know, and you know what's a friend shot, right? So you're like, and that might not be the shot for me to take right now, but it is what it is, man. Anyway, man, let's get right into the news what we what we trying to get to today, man. Hey, I'm a little bit out of practice, so we're gonna go with this. Mike was tweeting, that boy Mike Wong was tweeting. I said that boy Mike Wong was tweeting. <laughs> this, is, this is some stuff from the other day, and this ain't the main uh, source of the video, but we just gonna go through all this stuff, man. Somebody asked, hey, at Baluba, would Ankle Breaker animations uh, work without takeover? Like, can you get Ankle Breakers without take? I mean, obviously, you know, you can do that. He said, you'll have a small chance to drop defenders with, with high levels of, of Ankle Assassin. Frequency cranks up considerably with, with takeover. So that's gonna be dope right there. But we already know that the shooting take is the one that give you the ankle breakers, which is insane to me. But I guess you got to get that shot off some kind of how. But hey, I digress. Anyway, Chris Hoops of Life says, hey, Baluba, at Baluba. So what? Um, so from what I'm hearing, does, uh, does agility not affect dribbling speed or speed with ball? This is something that's actually good because you got people out there that just put on acceleration and they was able to circumvent the need for speed with ball because all they wanted to do was just... <laughs> <laughs> and then pull. So this, I think this is why they did this, man. We said agility has no effect on uh, on the ball handling. The only attribute that will affect dribbling, uh, dribbling, or speed with ball and ball handling. So that's gonna be dope right there. That's cool right there. We had uh, that boy. I don't see the big heck. He put this out there, man. He said, hey, next gen Discord QA says, are there any are there new build archetypes in the game? He said, Yes, there are well over a hundred new build possible of possible archetype names that have been discovered. Some of my favorites are Rim Attacker. That's dope. That's like the high fly that that trash ass high fly that Mac be bringing out there. Uh, you got the small ball four. So that's dope. Like that. I like that's gonna be like Draymond Green, the best player in the league, my favorite player in the league. Swiss Army knife. That's what I like to be. You know, I'm talking about three and D. You know, you can do a little bit of everything. And then junkyard guard. That's what I'm going for right there. I'm, I want to do all the trash and all the dirty work right there, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, also another Q and A. He said height, height at each position. And these are the max heights. What's the max heights caps or what have you? And this is something that y'all probably seen last week and stuff like that. But it says in NBA 2K25, the max heights for each position are for point guard six seven, for uh, uh, shooting guard six eight, for small forward six 
10. I'll probably go with 16, 67 small forward if it if it behooves me. Uh, power forward, seven foot, and then seven three on center. Ain't no Wimbies, ain't none of that stuff right there. So don't 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 get your hopes up. We already know what time it is. Another one, six three and shorter. What are the advantages? What advantages do shorter bills have? Shorter bills are a constant subject of discussion uh, for us. It's clear that the shorter bill, while while likely faster and quicker and with uh with better ball handles has a great time has a hard time getting off viable shots against lengthy defenders this made it difficult to ultimately this made it difficult uh, Colt, ultimately to succeed as a smaller uh small score we are we are giving more wiggle room to the small builders uh in the small builders and then in addition we're, in, we're introducing a new badge called the Mini Marksman, which allows a smaller shooter, 6'3 or shorter, to shoot more effectively against a taller defender. So as long as it's not shoot over those in reverse, it's all good. We had the max height with positions and all of that. We talked about that. This is another one, man. He says, hey, what advantages? We, we went through that with the shorter the Bills have this year. We did talk about that. Um, hey, I see less shooting badges. Are, are you combining a lot of the shooting badges? And it says, yes, many of the shooting badges have been combined from 24 others. Uh, others to make them more all encompassing and that's dope right there like so i don't have to have corner specialist set shooter and all of that stuff uh grenade i mean not grenade uh, uh claymore all that stuff nba 2k25 catch and shoot is rolled into the set shot specialist exactly uh blinders is rolled into the dead i don't know if i like that blinders and dead eye being rolled into one but it doesn't matter because you get all the badges anyway green machine however has been completely removed that's something that a lot of people because like you get like in this game man you could get two layups and now you your green machine rolling now you can take a shot and it, it's just crazy man and then uh max max uh uh, Zach Timmerman said, "Deleted my, deleted my tweet. Max height cap for the ankle assassin is 16, but uh, you can't get, you can't get legend at 16. 62 is the max for legend, and we put that there for a reason. Because speaking of the legend badges and stuff like that, man, this is what I wanted to talk to y'all about, man. This is a thing where I'm saying we being finessed, and it's just one of them things that's going to show us how pay to win 2K is, man. Listen." I don't know if anybody talked about it or if anybody thought about it like this or whatever, but two things are going to drop. Like we, we've been talking about the, what do you call that thing? The, uh, we've been talking about the city, the uh, season pass for a couple of years now. Well, this is the third iteration of the season pass. First time it was just there. Second time you could buy your way through it and stuff like that. And you could buy better rewards and stuff like that. Third time is a charm. Now you're going to be able to buy your way through it. And it's got some pay to win aspects. Now, you don't have to pay for it. But let's talk about some of these badges that we got. Like this right here, the badge elevators. You got the legend badges, what he just talked about. And then we got the badge elevators. And he just said, hey, man, listen. Uh, new and NBA 2K25 badge elevators can com can permanently permanently boost an individual, an individual badge. Uh of your choice up three levels so what they're saying is you, you come in there with a with a bronze badge let's say you got bronze midi marksman or bronze reach or something like that right i got bronze reach day one if i have high, and, and and you can go to legendary right if i have a high enough steel i could conceivably have legendary reach prior to doing anything in this game so that's just letting you know, whatever it takes for me to get legendary reach, I'm going to get legendary reach and do the video, the power of legendary reach. Because let me tell y'all why. Because day one, just going on to the court, we know this stuff. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. But but the reason I'm saying that this is, this is somewhat of a money grab for 2K is because somebody like me, I, if I don't play the game that much, Mac don't play the game that much. A lot of people, a lot of you guys don't play the game that much. Y'all, you know, you got a job or whatever. So this year if i didn't get my floor setters or if i didn't get certain things i really didn't care if i didn't get it because I mean, if i didn't get there because it, it wasn't anything that that impacted the game permanently now the legendary badges they don't impact the game permanently they just go season to season but that's part of that diabolical master plan because look if i if i get a legendary badge let's say if i were to get all my legendary badges in the first couple of seasons now i'm like eh, i ain't really got to play the game no more i don't have to get the season pass i don't have to do any of that because I, I grinded in the first couple of seasons and now I don't have to do, I don't have to grind in order to get it anymore, right? So I'm good. I already got it. I got everything I want. Now the legend badges go away at the end of the season. So not only 
do they go away to the end of the season, but they can also be acquired through buying your way through the season pass. So somebody like me and Mac, that if I know that I don't get to level 30, you know, to get my legend badges, I don't get to level 30 until like, you know, the last week. I want to enjoy my legend badge. So I might be more inclined to go ahead and pay to, to get to the, you know, get to the end of the joint so I can enjoy my legend badge the entire season. To somebody like me, I'd be like, well, I don't play that much, so it's not gonna make that big of a difference to me. But I would be more inclined to go ahead and pay and get all the way through the pass day one so I can enjoy my badge all season rather than having to be like, well, you know, uh, I'll get there and I might, get in, I might get to enjoy it for two or three days at the end of the season. You understand what I'm saying? And then with the floor setters, those, the floor setters or the uh, badge elevators, those are permanent. So maybe I got a badge that I just want to, I just want to elevate that joint. There's no badge regression, but I might just want to elevate it or whatever. And that's why I'm telling y'all that day one, I could come out there and conceivably have, ele uh, have legendary reach. All I got to do is put on my build what I can do to have legendary reach, right? Then buy my way through the season pass. Once I buy my way through the season pass, I can do my floor elevate. I can do my badge elevator to get myself to gold. And then I just, hey, I'm already done with it. I can just be a legend. So somebody like me that doesn't play that much or you guys that don't play that much, you got a job. Like a lot of people, it's, it's pushing you to buy the buy the joint because you want to go ahead and get your badges elevated so you'll be able to enjoy it throughout the season. Conversely, you got guys that are playing like the super sweats. You know they not going to be out there butt naked. They're going to come out there and they're going to come out there and buy it right off the bat because now they got a reason to buy because they want those those legend badges and they you're not going to be in the stage and have your legend badge and I can't have mine. Like yo, are you are you insane? Like so so I'm, like I'm saying, man, I don't know if people are gonna look at it like that or not. Some guys play it so much that they'll be there in two or three days anyway to level 30. That's what I'm gonna plan to do. Like at the beginning of every season, just go super hard and get there, pause. But you know, it just depends, man. But like I said, I just see it as one of them things where, like we said, it's little by little by little. It's just like, which, which you know, at home, hey, they say, or with the kids, they say this and get a little bit and then they take a mile. You give them an inch, they take a mile and you just like, dang, bro, like what's going on with this? Like. I see this going and I, I see maybe in later in seasons, they're going to have the legend badge on legendary badges on the upper tier where you have to pay for it. Right now, I don't think that they would do something like that just because they know the type of backlash that we would have. But I can definitely see 2K doing something like that, putting the legend badges on that upper tier or put an extra legend badge on that upper tier. Hey, hold on. This for you right here, Dino. Hold on one second. Oh, I got, I got me a block right here. Had to get me a little block right here. This for you, Nino. Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, man. Hey, but look, though, I can definitely see them putting those legend badges on that upper tier. And the only way that you're able to acquire the legend badges is to, to purchase that upper tier. But if I'm not mistaken, buying your way through the pass is probably more than or just as much as buying the upper tier badge. So maybe you get to like, like, like number. You know, I mean, it'll be, it, it, I guess it'll even be worth it to get to, to like level 20 and then buy your way to 30 because, you know, buy the pass and then you get the, the 10 upgrades instantly or whatever. But I'm telling you, it can be very game breaking. We are going to see legendary. Y'all know how bad um, reaching is at the beginning of the game. Y'all know how bad steals are at the beginning of every single game, right? We know this. So with people running out there with Hall of Fame reach, it's already bad and it's crazy and you can you can barely dribble and you have no protection against it just imagine people coming out there with legendary reach day one and we know it's gonna take three or four weeks for them to fix it like it always does so like should i just do that and just I, I'm, I'm gonna drop the video i'm doing i'm telling y'all what i'm going to do i'm dropping it day one i'm getting a 99 steal or whatever it takes to get legendary reach and i'm coming out there with the video the power of legendary reach and we just gonna do it like that, man, because, hey, man, everybody else, hey, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it, right, hey, it is what it is, man. I just think that 2K, um, hey, they can do whatever they want to because the people are gonna support it, people are gonna buy it, people are gonna do all that stuff, man, but I just think, I'm telling you, man, we are in, it, it looks like the way that we're headed, <laughs> I don't like the direction that we headed in with this, man, because, like, they made something and they put an extra tier so you can get everything that's involved in the game just fine. But as soon as you put that extra tier, that extra tier is going to be inaccessible to you 
because of something that they could p potentially do. And then, like I said, they can say that, no, we just put it in there so we can keep you on the game. You, you, you can get your legend badges. You got to earn those every season or whatever. Eh, but you can buy them every season too, man. I mean, I think it's somewhat of a finesse. And then, yeah, of course we won that game. You know, I was wide open, hit the, hit the last shot. But I think it's somewhat of a finesse, man. I think the 2K wants to um, not only keep us on the game, but if you can't stay on the game like somebody like me, or you can't be on there that much, I, I think that they're really trying to uh, go in that pay to win direction, but not blatantly, not ex not explicitly, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Did y'all think about it like that? Did anybody else, else say anything about that? Like I said, long story short, they want people that aren't on the game that much to go ahead and buy their way through the season pass day one so that they can, they can acquire their legend badges and have them in the beginning and you know just be able to enjoy them throughout the season and then they also want the guys that are the super duper sweats they the in stage heads hey he's not gonna have no way he's gonna have his and not not have mine and you know that's how they that's how they're looking to do it but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man hit that like button and uh drop a comment down below and i'll holler at y'all next time till next time hey, it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.